Hey, my name is Brittany Braddon. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today's class is gonna be all about the spine. So my hope is that you leave this class and your spine is feeling great. If you do enjoy this practice, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel so that you know when new classes are being put out. You do not need any props for this class. You just need your yoga mat and uh, let's get going. We're gonna start off on our backs. And as you come down onto your backs, you're going to bend your knees, set the feet down on the mat, mat distance apart, and let your knees come together. Keeping your knees together, pelvis rooted to the floor, reach both arms up towards the ceiling and interlace the hands, press the palm of the hands together. Now take your knuckles over towards the front left corner of the mat. As you do that, you're going to lift your head up, lift your chest up so you're peeling both shoulder blades off the floor, but keep your knees together so the legs aren't moving and then roll down onto your back, knuckles up to the ceiling. Take your knuckles over to the front right corner of the mat, lift your head, curl yourself up, both shoulder blades come off the floor, and then roll back down. And take the knuckles over to the left side, really try to pull, and then slowly lower down, and then knuckles over to the right side, and then lower down. We're gonna do one more round, so knuckles to the left, and then lower down and over to the right and then lower down you're going to interlace the hands behind the back of the head elbows wide separate your knees and bring your feet hip distance apart press your elbows into the floor take an inhale so feel that breath going to the ribs the back body the full 360 of your breath then when you exhale you're going to bring your elbows in a center lift your head up and lift the chest up so find some flexion through your spine and then as you inhale, you're gonna lower down, press the elbows into the floor, find that full breath. Exhale, elbows in, lift the head, lift the chest, and curl yourself up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, elbows in, lift the head, lift up. And then one more time, inhale. And then exhale. And then coming down onto your backs, take your arms up to the side into a T-shape and let your knees rock side to side. And then when your knees fall over to the left, recline twist so the legs can stay in the shape that they fall in or you can bring your knees closer together. Take your left hand and just rest that hand to the outside of the right thigh. Your right arm is still reaching out to the side. And as you close down the eyes, your head is just going to fall wherever is comfortable for the neck. Taking a few breaths here. And bring your knees through center and over to the other side. Just setting yourself up in whatever shape you chose to do on the first side. And then come back to center. Hug both knees in towards your chest, hands below the knees. Lift your chest towards your thighs so you're finding flexion to the spine. Then try to keep that flexion as you rock up and down. So you'll start off small, then get a little bit bigger each time. And then next time that you come all the way up, swing your legs around, make your way onto your hands and knees and table. Shoulders over top of the wrist, knees hip distance apart. Lift the chest forward, send the tailbone up, and then you're gonna round. Keep the round as you send your bum back towards the heels coming into a hovering child's pose. And bring yourself back in the table, cat cow. So chest forward, send the tailbone up, and then round, keep the round, and then lower the bum towards the heels. We'll do two more rounds like that. So chest forward, send the tailbone up, round, 
Then above that. And one more time. Come forwards, chest forwards, tailbone up. And then round. Come back into your table. Long spine, so core supporting the spine. Left hand on the floor in line with your sternum. Keep your left arm straight. Your right hand's gonna come behind the back of the head. Open up the chest towards the right, send the elbow up. And now tap your right elbow to the left elbow. And then open up to the right, send the elbow up. And then tap elbows. And then you're gonna open up, take that right arm up towards the ceiling. Thread it under, so take your right arm underneath you, come down onto the right arm and that right ear. And then you're gonna come onto your left fingertips. So as you press the fingertips on the floor, start to pull that left shoulder back like you're trying to lift the sternum to the ceiling. But make sure you're not just transferring everything over to the right side. Even weight through your knees. Reach your right arm back up to the ceiling. And set your right hand down onto the floor. Left hand behind the back of the head. Open up the chest of the left, send the elbow up. And then tap the left elbow to the right elbow. Open up to the left, and then close it off. Open up, reach that left arm up to the ceiling, and then thread it underneath you. Come down onto the left arm. You're on your right fingertips. Press the fingertips on the floor, pull that right shoulder back. All right, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> reach that left arm back up to the ceiling and then set your hand down onto the ground. Tuck your toes under, lift the hips up and back, coming into a downward dog. So as you ground the hands, bend one knee and straighten the other, and then shift side to side, so like you're walking the legs out. And then take a moment to pause in your downward dog. So in downward dog, you want your spine to be the priority. If you are forcing the legs straight and you're really rounding through the spine, then bend your knees a little bit or a lot. You wanna lift those hips up and back. And then we're all gonna lift up high until the balls of the feet bend the knees. Walking forwards until you come to the top of the mat, feet hip distance apart or wider. Keeping your knees bent, nice and slow, you're gonna roll yourself up to stand. Keep the feet where they are, reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Right hand for the left wrist. So draw your frontal ribs in, pull the left arm up, lean over to the right, and just take your hips over to the left. Come back to center, switch. Left hand for the right wrist, pull your right arm up, lean over to the left, and take your hips over to the right. And then come back to center. Bring your hands down towards the floor, roll your head, and roll down through the spine. So you're going to bend your knees and slowly come down until your hands touch the floor. And then keeping the knees bent, rolling up to the spine as you come back up to stand. When you come to the top, just lift your gaze. And then start with the head. So let the head drop, roll down to the shoulders, and then roll down to the spine. Once your hands tap the ground, start to roll yourself back up. And we'll do one more round like that. So lift the gaze, and then head, shoulders, bend the knees as much as you need. And once the hands come to the ground, lengthen the spine. So send the crown of the head forward. And then bend your knees, come into chair. Ground down to the heels, lower the hips down, and bring your hands together in prayer. So make sure the knees aren't falling in towards center. Keep the knees tracking over top of the second toe. Reach both arms forward. And then you're going to pull the left elbow back. So as you reach the left elbow back, reach that left arm long now and rotate the chest of the left. And then bring that left arm forward. Other side. So bring, bend the right elbow, pull the right elbow back, rotate the chest of the right until you reach that right arm all the way back. And then reach the right arm forward. Try to stay low on the hips. Pull the left elbow back, rotate the chest of the left, reach the left arm back. And then bring the left arm forward. And then bend the right elbow. Rotate the chest to the right, and then reach the arm forwards. So we're going to do one more round. Pull the left elbow back, rotate the chest to the left, reach back. Now reach that right arm further forwards, and then come back to center. 
Right elbow bent, rotate the chest to the right. So right arm reaches back, reach the left hand further forward. And then come to center, both arms forwards, and fold into the leg. Fingertips and shins lift up halfway. Set your hands down and step back, downward dog. Rolling through the spine until you come into plank. So nice and slow, roll forwards, shoulders come over top of the wrist. You might have to wiggle the feet back a bit. Lower the knees down to the floor, bend the elbows, and lower yourself all the way to the ground. Tops the feet press into the mat. Hands come behind the back of the head and your elbows are wide. Root the feet in the floor. Make sure your glutes are engaged. Lift your elbows off the ground. Then lift your head and lift your chest without pushing your chin forwards. And then lower back down. Lift the elbows up, lift the head, lift the chest, and then lower. One more time, elbows lift, head, chest lifts, hold, and then lower down. Place your hands beside your lower rib cage, tuck your toes under, and press up in a table, and come into downward dog. Heels lift up, bend the knees, hop or step, make your way to the top of the mat. Halfway lift to lengthen, fold into the legs, and step back with your right leg. So you can pad up that right knee if you need by folding the right side of your mat over. Set the knee to the floor, and reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Tailbone down, ribs tracking right over top of the pelvis. Rotate your chest to the left. So reach your right arm forwards, left arm back. Keep reaching the crown of the head up. And then come to center, both arms reach up. Rotate the chest to the left. Right arm forwards, left arm back. Come to center, reach both arms up. And then one more time, rotate the chest to the left. Pull the right hand forwards, pull that left hand back. Now set your left hand to the low back, fingers face down. Reach your right arm up. So I want you to lift out of the hips and then start to lean back without driving your hips forwards. Chest is going to stay facing the direction that it's in, but now you're going to take your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Bring your hands together in prayer so the left elbow faces up. And as you press the palm and the hands together, draw that left shoulder back and lift your sternum up. Really root that left foot into the ground. You have the option to tuck your back toes under and pick up the back knee if you'd like it. Set your hands down onto the ground. If it's not already, tuck the back toes under, pick up your back knee. Push off your back foot and step to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift to lengthen. Fold into the legs. Now you're stepping back with your left leg. Pad up that knee if you need it. Left knee comes to the floor. Low lunge. Both arms are sweeping forwards and up. So start by lifting out of the hips. Then rotate the chest to the right. Left arm reaching forwards. Right arm reaching back. And then come to center. Both arms up. Rotate the chest to the right, left arm forwards, right arm back. And then come to center and reach up. One more time, rotate the chest to the right, stay here. And then take the right hand to the low back, so fingers face down. Left arm reaches up to the ceiling, so lift up. Then you're gonna start to lean back without pushing the hips forwards. And then take your left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Bring your hands together in prayer. Press the palm of the hands together and maybe lift your gaze up to the ceiling. Try not to hold your breath here. I know it's a little restricted in the twist. Set your hands down to the floor. Tuck your back toes under, pick up your back knee. This time you're going to step back and come in a downward dog. Roll forwards in a plank. So bring your shoulders over top of the wrist. Walk your feet back a bit. This time you can have the knees up. Bend the elbows and lower yourself all the way to the floor. Press the tops of the feet on the ground. Hands come behind the back of the head. Elbows wide. Start to lift the elbows up. Lift the head. Lift the chest up. And then lower down. And lift the elbows up. Head, chest up. And then lower. One more time. Elbows lift. Head, chest lift, hold. And then lower down. Flip over onto your backs. 
and as you come onto your backs, take your legs long out on the floor, reach your arms up and over the head. Right heel over to the right corner of your mat. Cross your left leg over top of the right leg. So your feet are gonna hook onto one another. Your right hand is gonna reach for your left wrist. Pull the body up, or sorry, over to the right side. And then relax into that lateral side bend. Change sides. Left heel to the left corner, cross your right leg over top. Left hand for the right wrist and pull the upper body to the left side. Bring yourself back to center. Legs out in front of you. Bring the arms down to the ground. And close down the eyes and take a moment to notice how your spine feels. Letting the body be heavy into the floor. It is an honor to guide you through your practice today. And I hope to see you again real soon. Always be humble and be kind. Thank you. Namaste.